Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Andel's law in the context of multithreading. Andel's law is used to determine the speed up that is achievable through parallelization of a computational task. For example, let's consider a multithreaded application which has got four threads and we are executing on a single core a node and say speed is x. Now, if we introduce four cores to the system, in that case, the each of the thread can be executed parallelly on different core and uh, we expect the speed to be now 4x or it would take four times lesser time compared to the previous execution. Correct? But that is not totally true. That is what is Andrew's law discuss, uh, discuss about. In any computational task, we, uh, we will have some portion which needs to be executed in a sequential way or a, a serial way and some portions can be parallelized up. For example, uh, take the example of an uh, image uh, enhancing an ap application. So basically, we uh, have to load the images and then we can apply different filters on the uh, images and then after the uh, after this uh, pre-processing, we can save, we need to save the images. So in this example, the loading of the images have to be done in a serial way. The, uh, the pre-processing or application of filters can be carried out parallelly and then again writing the images or saving the images has to be done in a serial way. So uh, like this any application may have some serial portion and some parallel, uh, parallel portion that can be executed. So depending upon this serial portion and the uh, and the number of uh, cores what is the speed up that we can achieve is given by this Andrews formula. So here you can see uh, speed up is less, uh, is, say uh, S is our serial portion and N is the number of processing cores or threads, then the speed up is less than equal to 1 divided by S plus 1 minus S divided by N. So this 1 minus S is nothing but your parallel portion. So thus, if your application is 75% parallel and 25% serial and we mm, introduce, uh, introduce two cores instead of one, we can see that the speed up is now 1.6 rather than 2. Uh, we have introduced two cores but still it's not twice it is uh, less than two so this is what is uh, Andrew's law uh, uh, about it, it it helps us to determine the speed up that we can achieve given a serial and a parallel portion in a task let's take one more example so uh, consider a scenario where we have only 60 percent of the code is parallelized and 40 percent have to be executed in a sequential way if we use eight threads of or eight core, uh, eight cores. Uh, then what is the potential speed up? So here, serial portion is 0.4, the parallel portion is 0.6, and the number of cores or parallel threads that can be executed is eight. That's, that speed up, uh, we substitute that in the uh, Andrews uh, um, formula, and we see that the speed up is just 2.88 rather than eight. So this is what uh, the Andrews law help us to determine how much of speed up we can expect given the serial and the parallel portion of the task. Thank you.